Well, a senior prank turned into a harsh reality for some Turner High School students. After this food fight that you're watching right now on Friday, five of them will not be walking at graduation. And now their parents want that decision reversed. This is video from student Jesse Hood of a senior prank. A food fight inside the Turner High School cafeteria Friday. When we slow it down, you can see debris flying through the air. Upset and sad. Kenneth and Clark admits he was involved. I threw a tray across the lunchroom and I guess they didn't like that too much. And he admits he was wrong. Of course, I mean, I should get in trouble for it. Clark tells us there were about 100 other teens involved too, but only five seniors are being punished. He and his mother say he was suspended for two days. They agree with that. Their concern is graduation. The five have been told they will not be walking. That's where some think the school is taking the punishment a step too far. For these families that have waited this long, it is about getting the memories, capturing those memories, walking across that stage and receiving that diploma. Racy Custer's son, Justin Koss, was suspended, and he has also been told he will not walk. The food fight had already started, and he threw a banana. She doesn't mind the suspension. She just wants to see her son on stage. And I agree with that totally, but they're missing out on getting their yearbooks, getting their yearbooks signed, their senior party after graduation. The school spokesperson responded in a statement, saying in part, they have identified the students responsible, and senior students are regularly reminded that participation in activities that cause disruption will jeopardize participation in graduation. After speaking with the superintendent and principal today, both parents we interviewed are still not satisfied. And both parents asked for the school surveillance video and were told it's against the policy to see it. We also were not released that video. The students said that they offered to help clean up the mess afterward, but were told to leave. We want to know what you think. There are over 100 comments right now on our Facebook page. You can join that conversation at KSHB.com Facebook.